background. So I've been in Bitcoin since 2011, 12. A long time. Uh, I've been in tech a long time as well. Uh, so I've seen the highs and the lows and the growth of the network and where it's going. And uh, throughout that time, uh, I'm also the principal founder of uh, Big Digital Assets, so Jones Netcoins, and uh, uh, hit a billion dollar market cap last year. I'm um, no longer with that company on the operations side, but I am the largest shareholder. Uh, but, but during that time, we, we, we decided we write a book and talk about where we see uh, Bitcoin going, what it is, uh, and, uh, um, and try to answer some real questions of you know, why it has value. And, and so some of that's in the book here. If anybody wants a copy, please come see me. I'm happy to give you one. Um, but that gets down to one of, the, one of the questions we'd like to start with before we just jump into Bitcoin and the Lightning Network, all the stuff that we do that's exciting and, and, and cutting edge, is when I give talks and give lectures, you have to ask and you have to answer one very basic question. What is Bitcoin? Like, what is it really? And when I ask the question, like, oh, it's, it's payment, it's money, it's a value store. Wrong. That's what it's being used for. That's not what it is. What it is, is a trust protocol and an extension of the internet, which is one of the reasons it has value. It's going to fundamentally change how the internet is going to work. Money and value transfer is simply its first use case. Like email was the first use case of the internet back in the 90s. And it's gonna be so much more than we can imagine over the next 10 years. And we're right in that sweet spot coming into that iPhone moment. And the Lightning Network is going to lead the charge. Um, and so this gets back down to one of the questions where why is Bitcoin trading at 20,000? Why is it worth 30,000? Why, why does it have value? And you have to look at the value of a protocol. What is the value of TCP IP? TCP IP is the protocol that powers the internet. And the internet is made up of what, seven technology layers. They call it the OSI technology stack. It stands for a big long name that represents the literal plumbing of the internet. Bitcoin comes in there as the eighth layer, the trust layer, the trust protocol that we tried to do in the 90s and we failed repeatedly. The magic of Bitcoin is it solved that computer problem. And so our issue as people, it's hard for us to wrap our minds around the value of a protocol. We couldn't wrap our minds around the value of TCP IP. And same thing going on for Bitcoin. But its value is being unlocked because now, or as we've seen the internet progress in my, my uh, career from being worth 180 billion to 3 trillion in 2005 to 20 trillion in 2020, and 2020, and now the internet's worth an infallible number into the hundreds and hundreds of trillions, it's an infallible number that society relies on. When you think of Bitcoin and realize it is the eighth layer and it's going to change how trust is done for the entire internet, you look at the market cap and like, well, this, you know, in seven years, you know, 10 years, it's just gonna keep unfolding. And onto an unbelievable level, and it's going to change the way that the world works. And so to that end, uh, the next phase for Bitcoin is what they call the Bitcoin Lightning Network, which addresses the stuff you talked about, the ability to actually transact at extremely high speed uh, into the millions of, millions of transactions per second for really low fees, uh, allow it to become a true payment network. So you, so you answered perfectly the first part of my question, which is, you know, what, what is Bitcoin, uh, other than a you know, way of moving money around. The second part of my question, and we already kind of lightly touched on it, but it's like, what are the main limitations of how it exists today? Right, so, you know, Bitcoin itself, from a computer standpoint, has, uh, it's very secure, very trustworthy. If you want to send a large amount of a Bitcoin denomination, say a million dollars, ten million dollars, it'll get there, it may take an hour until it processes, but it's not useful for every day buying a cup of coffee. It doesn't work. Uh, but what Bitcoin has in its favor now is technology called the Lightning Network, which is layer two to Bitcoin's layer one. Now, why is that important? The internet was scaled with multiple layers of technology. Bitcoin and the philosophy behind it is following the same methodology that scaled the internet. And so the Lightning Network now allows you to be able to send a microtransaction, a penny of value across the network in high speed to anywhere, and, uh, and it'll arrive without uh, losing its value. So, okay, now that we've kind of prepped, you know, what is Bitcoin, what are some of the limitations of it, let's talk about your company, Liquid. So what are you guys doing to kind of push forward this next iteration of Bitcoin? Tell us a bit about your company. Right, so the Lightning Network itself is made up of what they call nodes and channels, and so they have, uh, it, it works very much like a mesh network, like the internet itself, so when you want to send a transaction, it goes through multiple providers, multiple hops until it reaches its final destination. 
Very similar to if you were to go to Google.com, it'll go through you know, Shaw and the next provider until it gets down to where it has to go. Now what happens is companies like ours, we've established right now 19 points of presence around the world, and we have our Bitcoin on these, uh, on these nodes and channels, and we help forward transactions to that end, and it, it allow it to get to its final destination. And we are uh, rewarded by the network, and we charge fees in Bitcoin for that. So the more transactions we process, the more transactions that go through our part of the network uh, that we handle, because we have great visibility to the rest of the network, the more money, the more money we make. So let's dive further into, uh, into your growth story. So why don't you tell us, can you share with us, let's talk about your growth strategy, your plan for what do the next few years look like for you guys? How are you yeah, growing? Absolutely. So our growth strategy right now, we're very much modeled after uh, you know, Silicon Valley. We didn't be down there a lot with the previous companies. And right now, it's all about gaining market share on the Lightning Network. Uh, we, our brand awareness, our, our reach, the number of channels, the connectivity around the globe, and get in the middle of the money stream. Because uh, once it's established, that race is on. And a lot of big companies are asleep at the switch. They don't realize it's coming. But right now, the best and brightest are waking up there and working on in Silicon Valley. And it's coming in a big, big way. And so we're the first public company that's doing it. And we're doing it because we've been in Bitcoin a long time, and we have our, our finger on the pulse. We're very aggressive about it, and we want to establish that point of presence. So for us, as many nodes, as many channels, and route as many transactions as possible. And what is happening with the Lightning Network is it is growing at an astronomical rate, way beyond what people understand. It's growing at triple digits, and, uh, and getting that hockey stick curve, and we're seeing that, and, and it's accelerating beyond that. It's going to continue to accelerate even faster. And so we want to be in the middle of that and have the growth of the network carry us up, because we have a big footprint on it, carry us up faster than anything possibly could. And we want that, what they call Metcalf's Law, that network effect, uh, which is very important for us to get in the middle of. And so this is, uh, we're putting all our efforts into that, and we have a, we have a great uh, reputation in the industry. We continue to expand that point uh, and, um, and, and, and gain, uh, gain traction. Amazing, you do have a great reputation indeed, and that's why I was so excited that you came to, to hang out with us. I really appreciate that. Um, Let's get into the quiz. Everyone give it up one more time for Sean. <laughs>